A focus on visa processing durations. Today's video is the final part of our three-part video series on the immigration changes announced in the 2022 to 2023 federal budget. To watch the previous two parts, follow the links provided in the description below. Let's begin. In September, at the Jobs and Skills Summit, the Albanese government pledged to speed up the duration of visa processing. The government also made the announcement of providing an additional $36.1 million to recruit up to 500 people for nine months to assist in tackling the issue of long wait times. Speaking at the summit, Immigration Minister Andrew Giles stated that there were around 1 million visas in the backlog waiting to be processed when their government won the elections in May. Since then, the average processing time for a temporary skilled visa has been reduced to 42 days in July, compared to 53 days in July. In October, Immigration Minister Mr. Giles stated that the department had completed the processing of more than 2 million applications, but the backlog of approximately 872,000 applications still remained. This is because of a considerable rise in demand since the lifting of travel restrictions and borders opening after being shut down due to the global pandemic. He added that, Australia is bouncing back in regard to visa applications. Since the 1st of June 2022, the Australian government has received around 2.22 million new applications, compared to around 495,000 for the same period last year. The immigration minister said, the Department of Home Affairs had already hired 260 staff to assist with visa processing and more were to be hired and trained in the following weeks and months. We have reached the end of the three-part series regarding the new immigration changes in the federal budget for 2022 to 2023. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more latest updates on Australian immigration. Thanks for watching.